Sekejap eh, kita tunggu recording anda and then we start. Okay, so uh, good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning everyone. Congratulations, good morning twice. Okay, so before we start, um, take some time to breathe in, breathe out, eh, tarik nafas, lepas, tarik nafas, lepas. Okay, uh, and think of wonderful things that are going to happen this year. Okay, jadi uh, as usual before we start, uh, please uh, recite your prayer. Uh, siapa nak? Uh, switch on the mic and recite the prayer for everybody. Who's the class monitor for 5K? Uh, 4K last year. 4K last year. Ada ke class monitor? 4K <laughs> last year. <laughs> tak ada. Penolong ada? Eh, tak nak menolong. Uh, 4G punya anybody representative to recite prayer. Baca doa mula ah. belajar. Lelaki lah. Smile, Tak sebut nama orang lah. Just Just open the mic and then you recite the prayer for everybody. Uh, Hazwan mana Hazwan? Uh, tadi nampak macam dia ada. So just switch on your mic and recite prayer for everybody. On mic dia tak nak tengok muka pun tak apa. On mic dia. Uh, okay. Amin. Amin dah. Tak cek kuat sikit. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ha. Di Allahumma sta'a alaina. Sta'a alaina hikmataka wa insha'a alaina min khaza'in rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Amin. Amin. Okay, thank you. Uh, for uh, for reciting the prayer for everybody. So let's hope that this lesson will be meaningful for everybody, okay? And we're not going to take uh, a lot of time for you because you have uh, a lot of other things to do. Uh, I know some of you haven't taken your bath yet. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start. Okay, so uh, we're going to focus on your textbook, chapter one or unit one, which is it's personal, okay? So for those yang tak baca lagi pun, it's okay. We're going to look uh, page by page of this textbook. Tapi saya takkan selak lah textbook tu dengan you. You have textbook with you. I'll share my my screen with you. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, I just want to know how are you feeling? Uh, I hope that everybody is good. Okay. Um, and uh, kalau ada masalah, if you have problem during this MCO, uh, just let us know so that your friends can help you out. Okay, especially in terms of technology. If you're not familiar with technology, let us know. You can uh, message me personally if you don't want to message in the group. Okay, but I do encourage all of you to message or to keep on asking in the group so that uh, if I cannot answer the question, your friends can answer. Remember that in my class, it's not just you learn from me, but you also learn from your friends. So this is a new textbook. So at the end of this lesson, uh, what I want you to do is to be able to identify uh, different types of family because the, the, in this topic, we are going to focus on family, okay, jenis-jenis uh, keluarga yang ada, okay. Uh, and at the end of the lesson, so they must be able to identify links in the text and sentences, okay. And also, uh, you might need to write something at the end of this session, okay? Okay, let's move on. Okay, before we enter into the unit, okay, uh, I would like you to just uh, brainstorm some ideas, okay? Uh, use your brain early in the morning uh, with by answering this riddle. Teketeki lah, eh? teketeki. A man was driving a black truck. His lights were not on. The moon was not out. A lady was crossing the street. How did the man see her? Okay, you can either respond to this riddle by switching on your mic or you can just type your response in the chat box. Okay, I repeat eh, the riddle, teketeki pagi ni. 
A man was driving a black truck. His lights were not on. The moon was not out. A lady was crossing the street. How did the man, okay, the man who is driving this uh, bl black truck, uh, manage to see this lady? Remember that he was riding or driving a black truck. His light was were not on. Okay, and there was no moon at that time. Uh, a lady was crossing the street. And how did the man see her? If you don't want to switch on your mic, you can just type in the chat box. Okay. So Yusmanizam say that maybe she wears a light colored blouse. Good response. Okay. What about others? What about others? Okay. Maybe she was wearing a light colored blouse. Warna yang terang. So that, that's the reason why this man can see her. What about others? What about others? Okay. Nazaria say, ha, ah, maybe. Okay, maybe. So what's your answer? <laughs> a man was driving a black truck. His lights were not on. The moon was not out. A lady was crossing the street. How did the man see her? Karoma. Kalau main karoma ni tak boleh jawab teka-teki. Okay. A man was driving a black truck. She used a torch light. Okay, good response. Another response is that she was using a uh, torch light. Adam Musaini say maybe she, he sees by street light. Lampu jalan. Okay, maybe. Or maybe um, the man has ability to see something in the dark. Okay, superhero. Maybe. The man, or maybe she also have a dog. Uh, that can bark. Okay, so the dog is barking while the, the driver was driving the truck. Okay, maybe. He can hear a girl crossing the street. Afi Irwan. Or maybe when the girl, or when the lady was crossing the street, she was singing out loud so that everybody can hear her. Maybe. Good, good response. Okay. So, uh, anybody else want to try? Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. The answer is, the answer is, it was a bright sunny day, okay? Because I didn't mention that the incident happened at night. So in this riddle, okay, there's no mentioning that the man was driving at night, okay? So the moon and the lights were just uh, distracting your attention, okay? So uh, the man or the driver can see this lady crossing the road because it was a bright sunny day, okay? Let's take a look, let's move on, let's move on, okay? We'll have another riddle at the end of this session, okay? So let's take a look at this picture. This is our first uh, analysis of the day. Okay, the first analysis of the day. Kita akan tengok dan kaji gambar ni. Okay, bersama-sama. Okay, you can see there are five person on this image, in this picture. Okay. So, I have three questions for you. I want you to either answer it verbally. Okay. Uh, you can switch on your mic. You can respond to these questions or you can type this in your chat box. What can you see in the picture? Who are these people? Are they related? Adakah mereka ini uh, related? Apa nama ada hubungan? Okay. Are they family members? Are they friends? And so on. So these three questions, I want you to answer either by Switch on your microphone or you can type your response in the chat box. Okay. So three questions. Number one, what can you see in this picture? Who are these people and are they related? And if you say that they are related or you say they are not related, why you say so? So only four, three, three point one questions. Lah. Okay. 
So I give you maybe two or three minutes to take a look at this image. And then uh, if you have your textbook with you, you can see, uh, you can look at the image in your textbook. Okay, uh, unit one. Okay, it's personal and try to answer the three questions that I have listed. Okay, what can you see? The picture, who are these people? Are they related and why? Maybe one or two minutes. You can uh, look at the picture and then um, respond to the question. Nak tengok kat mana gambar tu? Okay, it's either in your textbook. Okay, in the first picture in the textbook. Um, okay, or you can see the picture in the slides. Kalau you tak nampak slides ni, you can refer to the textbook. I pun tak print so I cannot show you uh, the, the picture. I don't have the textbook with me either. Okay. Apa soalan tadi? Okay. What can you see in the picture? Okay, sorry. Saya, saya time eh. What? What can you see in the picture? Who are these people? Number three, are uh, they related? Why? Okay. Okay, so we have a few answers over here. Thank you for responses. Um, uh, you say that I see a group of people playing ball, okay, playing football, okay. I figure one, one family play football together. Okay, they are also, uh, you say they are also playing together. Hazwan, the family having a vacation. Uh, Afi Irwan, they are one family. Uh, Adam Husaini, they are playing ball. Uh, they are family. Number three, apa soalan tadi? The, uh, Jiha, the group of boys play football. They are related. Okay, they were playing football. Okay. Um, because they wear same color t-shirt. That's why they are related. Good. So there are a lot of answers over here, okay? I don't say it's right or wrong, okay? But what you can see that they are playing football together, they might be family because they are wearing the same colored shirt. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. Moving on. Okay, so let's take a look further uh, about this picture, okay? Let's study further this picture. Yes, now we have three questions. Now another two questions. By looking at this picture, how many generations of family are in this picture? Uh, berapa generasi keluarga you can see in this picture? Okay. And number two, can you describe their feelings? Can you describe their feelings? Okay. So uh, number one, how many generations? And number two, can you describe the feelings? Okay, can you describe their feelings? Okay, in one or two minutes. How many generations of the family are in this picture? Can you describe their feelings? Okay, you can um choose to switch on your mic or maybe you can just type in the text box uh, chat box okay good 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 so we have a lot of responses over here saying that there are three generations some of you say two generations okay uh and the, or maybe the older the parents and the kids okay maybe they are grandparents over here maybe okay uh they were feeling happy there's only one generation mm-hmm Okay, maybe they look alike. Okay, that's why you say only one generation. Three generation, they are having fun. So, um, good. Thank you for your responses. So, there are three generations. You can see that. Um, you can see that over here, you have a grand grandmother. 
and then you know, over here you can see the father and then the kids over here okay so good thank you next okay so another question for you right now what i want you to do is take a look at the uh at the unit or the topic for this unit okay the chapter which is it is personal so it is personal uh, can you explain what it means so you can see that they are family there are three generations of family they are happily playing football uh, at the beach okay you can see the grandmother you can see the father and the three kids and then the topic is about personal or it is personal okay. so uh one or two minutes so we can see after irwan personal information about someone in family irfan say they reuse the tree to be a goal post yeah maybe that's a good observation okay but now we are looking at it's personal, okay? Why the topic is, it is personal. Kenapa tajuk dia kali ni, it is personal. Personal was a secret information to a person, Nazaria. You say the something that we cannot, um, you cannot tell to other people it's personal yeah maybe i uh, cannot tell anyone okay the family activities is personal so others can easily know about our activity with family yeah especially during this mco you cannot simply tell people where you go okay ah, tak, kena swap test. okay there are only one family in the beach okay because we have some reasons to be personal yes good when you get together you can explain your problem so yeah is personal especially when you are in your family so we get together you sit at the dining table or maybe at the, during the tea time and then you explain your problem okay good uh, and this kind of session as well maybe a personal for you okay you can you can talk about your problems at home um, you want to talk with your friends about you having difficulty with internet connection and so on okay good so it's personal so basically, when you say it is personal, that means um, we are talking about an issue or a family. And when we talk about family for certain people, it might be very personal to him or her. Okay? Because not everybody likes to talk about his or her family. And we have to respect that. Okay? Kita kena hormat kalau kawan kita kata, atau dia tak suka pun bercerita tentang family dia. Maybe there is a personal reason and we have to respect that okay okay moving on okay it is personal because it refers to a person's private life relationship and emotion so we have to respect one another especially in terms of family and if they or his or he or she has private issues okay sebab tak semua orang suka bercakap tentang keluarga so we have to respect that. It's very personal for some, some people. Okay. And what's so special about the word family? How, how can you respond to this question? What is so special? What is so special about the word family? Apa yang istimewa tentang perkataan family? What is so special about the word family? Hmm. Okay, apa yang istimewa sangat dengan perkataan family? Family, family. What is so special about the word family? Can anybody respond to this question? Family is my family. Okay. Hazran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good response. Family is your family. What is so special about the word itself? Apa istimewanya perkataan family? Not definition, eh? Not definition. 
Yes. Uh, uh, what's so special about the word family? Family is my happiness. He used is giving a dictionary explanation. A group of people who have a secret feeling, same feeling, to understand each other, can share their own with family. Good. Okay. Family is a is a group of people who love who we love so much. Good. Family is a group of people that going through all problems together. Good. Family. Uh, in my family, you have your mother, father, sibling that we start life there. Okay, that's family. Help one another. Okay. But if you look at the word family, F A M, and then it ends with I L Y. Family. L Y. I L Y. I love you. I love you. So, it's very important that family, the word family end with three letter word that's very beautiful, which is I, L, N, Y, family. Okay. Okay. Saya tak nak kata tentang friend, because friend, F-R-I, E-N-D. Okay, E-N-D. Tapi jangan kata ini sejarah perkataan family, ya. Saya tak ada, eh. This is just a saying, eh. Why the word family is very important. Beautiful because it ends with three letter word I L Y. It is also I L U. Okay. So let's take a look next. Okay, let's try to pronounce these words because these words appear in your books. Okay, in your textbook, and you might need this uh, after this. Okay. We have a lot of people coming in. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the first word is blended family. If you can uh, pronounce it on your own, the first word is blended family. Number two is adoptive family. Number three is extended family. Next, you have single parent family, and also traditional family. Okay, so the first one is blended family, adoptive family, extended family, single parent family, and also traditional family. Okay, so there are five types of family over here. Okay, we're going to look at the definition after we did the we are, we did the exercise. Okay, so some of you say that you only know two of those. Okay, uh, maybe you have learned this in uh, a lower secondary, if not mistaken, uh, geography. Good. Eh, sejarah, sejarah, sejarah diri dan keluarga. Maybe you have heard of the term in Bahasa, okay? But these terms, uh, these are the terms, or this how you say it in English, okay? We have blended, adoptive, extended, single parent, and traditional family. Okay, so which group you fall under, okay? You can just uh, keep it to yourself first, okay? So let's take a look at these descriptions of different families and label them with these words. Which one is most like your own? Okay. So, um, if you have the textbook with you, you can read this and then try to uh, mix and match which one is which, one, two, and three. Okay. I read for you the first one. Okay. You have five options, adoptive family, blended family, extended family, single parent family, and traditional family. Okay, so which one is which? Okay, kita baca sikit. Ah, apa benda ni? Okay, the first one. I live in Bristol, Bristol, with my mom, dad, and brother, Tim. My parents met at university and got married when they finished their studies. I was born a year later and my brother was born when I was three years old. Okay. So I live in Bristol with my mom, dad and brother. My parents met at the university. Um, my, and got married when they finished their studies. I was born a year later and my bro brother was born when I was three years old. Okay, so you can see that we have, um, we have uh, mom, dad, and brother. 
So you have yourself, brother, dad, and mother. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Jangan marah, We are learning, we are learning. Hmm. Number one, extended family. Number two, maybe single parent family. Single parent, but you have mom and dad. Single parent. Blended family, maybe. Okay, single parent family. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's true. Okay, let's take a look. It's okay. I'll give you the answer for this. Number two. Uh, mom and I have got home from holiday and in Spain. Okay. Saya ni pergi Spain ke sini. Mom works hard so that we can go away once a year. It may sound strange but I have, I have a lot of fun with my mom. There's just the two of us at home. So it's a good thing we get along. So you can see that they are just the two of us at home. They are just the two of us at home. Okay. Number two ni apa pula? Number one tadi, some of you say single parent, some of you say standard, blended. What about number two? Which one? Which category does it fall under? Ah. Single parent. Okay, some of you say single parent. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's take a look. The third one. My dad remarried. My dad remarried. Kawin semula. A few years ago and when he did, Josh and I got a stepmother and a stepsister. At first, it was strange living with them in the same house, but we soon got used to it. It is pretty cool, actually. Ah. So, you have a dad remarried. And then they got stepmother and stepsister. So what kind of family is this? Adopted family. Adopted family. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blended family. Okay. okay. So let's take a look. Uh, some of you say. Okay, so let's take a look. I am going to reveal the answer. So number one. Tak apa. Maybe tak apa. It's okay. We are learning, right? Number one is actually you have mom. Um that and brother and yourself so it is a traditional family ah, number one is traditional because you have mom dad brother and you yourself number two you have mom and i and then they are just the two of us so number two is actually single parent family okay and number three, you have your dad remarried, and then you and your brother Josh got a stepmother and a stepsister. Uh -huh. So number three is blended family. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Good job. Number next, number four and number five. Number four, every summer the whole family gets together for a party at my grandparents' house. All three generations are there, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and everyone. Everyone ni termasuk keluarga saja, uh, sanak saudara. We have a fantastic time. For me, it's the best day of the year. Uh, so every summer, the whole family, the word the whole family. And number five, my dad, uh, my mom and dad, aunt, my biological parents they couldn't have children of their own so they adopted me and my sister they love us very much and always do their best to make us happy ah, so what do you think number four and number five okay. Okay. so for number four, tadi dah ada jawapan tadi tu. Tiga dah ada, satu, dua, tiga. Now four and five. So, the keywords in number four are, you have grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins and everyone. Ada uh, banyak kat sini. So, that is the extended family. And then you have my mom and dad aren't my biological parents, bukan bio biological parents. And also, there's a verb here, adopted. Uh, adopted. 
So number five, number four is extended, and number five is adoptive family. Good. Give yourself a big round of applause. Tanya, tanya, tanya. Cuba lagi. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I We haven't uh, read the description of these five terms, but you already managed to answer the five questions correctly. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, tell me, okay, maybe, not maybe, right now, what you're supposed to do, you have, uh, uh, maybe you can just choose from adoptive, blended, extended, single parent, and traditional. So tell me, what? Do you understand by these five terms? Ha, pilih satu term ni and then you try try to describe salah satu daripada terms ni in the chat box or so maybe you can just switch on your mic and tell your friends and tell all of us what do you understand by the, uh, the, the, the term or the category? What do you understand by uh, what different? Okay, maybe... Um, what I want you to type is uh, just what do you understand by one of these terms? Ah, okay. Then you rasa rasa lah. Bila you dah buat tadi, latihan tadi, what do you understand by adoptive? Okay. What do you understand by blended? Pilih salah satu. What do you understand by single parent? What do you understand by traditional? What do you understand by extended? What's different between traditional family or adoptive family? Okay, what's different between traditional family and adoptive family? They are very different. Ah, okay, they are very different. Adoptive family is 2% take a child, adopted children. Good. Uh, you say extended family, it makes a life a lot of happiness with great, great person. Mm -hmm. Okay, single parent, someone who live with mother only or father only. Good. Okay, so I want this kind of description based on your understanding. Apa yang awak faham tadi berdasarkan latihan kita buat tadi? What do you understand by the terms? Uh, saya akan terangkan after this. But for the time being, I want from your understanding. What is adopted? What is blended? What is extended? What is single parent and what is traditional? Okay, some of you have given uh, good answers. Single parent are only mother or father take care of their children. Maybe single parent, kan? Okay. That is family, normal marriage, that have parents and child. Normal marriage, ada abnormal marriage, kan? Normal marriage. Traditional family is our true family, which is have bloodline. Okay, good. Understand it. Uh, understandable. Extended family, family which extends beyond the nuclear family to include grandparents and other relatives. Good. Traditional, traditional family is usually family. It's a usual family. Adoptive family was the children was not from the parents. Aha, uh -huh, okay, not bi biological. Adopted family, person who take uh, take care of uh, the children. Okay. They take care of the children. They are not theirs. Bukan kepunyaan mereka, tapi legally they take the children. Okay. Dengan kebenaran, eh? maybe extended family is a whole family with grandparents and parents and also the niece and others. Adopted family is take a child to adoption. Take a child to adoption or for adoption. <laughs> okay. Kalau you take a child to adoption, you bawa anak tu untuk dijadikan anak angkat. Okay. Good, good, good. Ah, okay. Uh, based on the uh, text, uh, the, the the quiz just now, okay, uh, you are able to describe these five terms. So, let's take a look at what are the definitions. Okay, the first one, traditional family, uh, consists of a married couple and their children. Okay, maknanya ada mak, ayah, anak. Tak kisah anak tu satu ke, sepuluh ke, uh, dua puluh empat ke. So, uh, traditional family meaning you have a married couple and their children. So, that is traditional family. Okay, I'm explaining it. I'm explaining it. I'm explaining it. Okay, okay so the first one is made up of a married couple and their children. That is traditional family. Okay. Hanya ada ibu, ayah, anak-anak. Okay, tak kisah anak tu berapa orang. Next, single parent family made up of a mother or a father and her or his children. Nampak tak? Just now, a traditional family, you must have both. You must have mother and father and also the children at the same house. That is a traditional family. 
and when they are living separately okay bukan sebab bapa dia kerja jauh tapi because they have separated so that is considered a single parent family okay so only mother or only father taking care of their kid okay, so that single parent family okay ada beza traditional maknanya mereka masih ada ikatan yang sah so that is traditional family but once they are separated legally okay uh, so that is considered a single parent family okay next uh, blended family is a family composed of a couple and their children from previous marriages also known as step family so blended ni maknanya bukan kahwin campur eh tetapi a family that has children from previous or other marriages uh, mungkin sama ada the spouse they separated uh, with their spouse or they separated by death eh? mungkin ada kematian jadi they get they remarried with another person so that is what we call as blended family or a step family mungkin step step ni kita terlalu ingat cerita Cinderella eh a step mother garang step sister garang and so on so maybe the term blended family is uh, quite soothing in the eyes and in the ears blender blended macam blender itu blender bawang dengan cabai you nak buat rendang pagi ni okey so blended ni maknanya campur ya blender lah tu you campur kan uh, you have uh, parent from uh, your your father is from another mer- uh, apa was a father of someone your mother uh, is a mother of someone and then you get married so that's how you can get a blended family ha? bukan kahwin campur berbeza bangsa agama eh bukan eh jangan salah faham blended that means um, you are the dua keluarga you kahwin okay okay good and fine okay blended like blender okay mixture of family okay next extended is when you have um, family other than your mother father and siblings so go beyond mother father and siblings okay kalau traditional tadi hanya ada tiga ni mother father and sibling extended meaning you have beyond mother father and sibling okay next adoptive not a family by birth legally take care of a child or maybe be a group of children okay uh, not a family by birth legally take care of children okay dekat malaysia dulu uh, if you know about bosnia herzegovina ni cerita lama ni back in the 90s eh uh, bosnia herzegovina so our prime minister then uh, tun dr mahathir mohamad semasa dia jadi perdana menteri back then 1990 something okay because of the war in bosnia herzegovina so uh, we adopted Okay, there are a lot of families in Malaysia they adopted uh, Bosnia kids, okay, Bosnian kids, so that uh, they do not become the prisoner of war or the war victim, and then they learn here, they pursue their studies, and right now in Bosnia, dekat negara Bosnia tu, kalau you pergi tengok dekat Google Maps or Google Earth, you can see Bosnia is a very small country at the USSR region okay and right now the professionals orang-orang professional yang ada di Bosnia right now most of them came from this adopted kids ha maknanya kita ambil mereka daripada Bosnia ke Malaysia some family including Tun Mahathir if not mistaken he adopted one or two kids from Bosnia and then a lot of other families they adopted this kid from Bosnia bagi mereka education and then they pursue studies in UIA if I'm mistaken uh, and then these people once they graduated they return to Bosnia and become uh, professionals. What is extended family? Okay, kalau tak sampai tu jangan tahu eh. Extended family is your family other than your mother, uh, your father and siblings. So, lebih daripada ayah, mak dan adik beradik so that is extended family. Okay. okay, adoptive, not family by birth, legally take care of a child. Okay, so let's take a look at this example, maybe to make things clearer for you. So I'm just giving you a simple explanation. 
okay just now by words yeah but right now by pictures okay so let's take a look uh, maybe you have uh, maybe you know this family this is the simpsons okay so you can see that uh, what what do you think this type of family is uh, what do you think um what kind of family is he having this okay. is it a traditional is it adoptive is it uh, extended okay simpsons yeah simpsons traditional family huh traditional family traditional family viral family tak masuk tu viral family yeah maybe we can add that as one of the new category which is viral family traditional family traditional family good so uh they are traditional family because you have okay you have a father a mother a son a daughter and a daughter so that's traditional family you have father mother son daughter so meaning say that you have the uh the the, the basic one the father mother and kids okay. but what if you add the uh the grandfather ah from traditional it becomes what just now over here is traditional okay we have father mother and the kids what if you add a grandfather what does it become okay so if you add a grandfather it becomes extended family okay extended family good ah good good, good. So, we are towards the end of the session, okay? So, we have riddle number two. Huh. Riddle number two. Uh, it's about family. So, make sure you try your best to think about the answer. Okay. Uh, your mother's brother's only brother-in-law is asleep on your couch. Who is asleep on your couch? Your brother's your mother's brother's only brother-in-law is asleep on your couch so who is asleep on your couch okay. this is a very uh, a simple traditional and extended family your mother brother-in-law your mother's brother's only brother-in-law is asleep on your couch who is asleep on your couch? <laughs> brother-in-law, brother. Your brother-in-law? Betul ke? Yakinnya. Kita tengok dia punya uh, tip over here. Uh, maybe clue. Uh, the clue here is brothers only, brother-in-law. Hmm. Your mother's brother's only brother-in-law. Mother brother, your mother's brother, abang kepada mak awak, okay, ataupun brothers only, satu-satunya abang atau adik kepada mak awak punya abang atau adik ipa. So the clue is your mother. So you bayangkan, your mother's brother, siapa? Your mother's brother is your uncle, right? So your uncle is the only brother that your mother has. Ada satu je. Maknanya mak you ada pak cik you saja. Dia beradik dua orang. So your uncle brother-in-law is... Ada ujian betul lah. Eh, yeah, someone answered correctly. Sekejap. I'm checking the, the chat. My husband... <laughs> I mean, answered correctly. Good. The answer is your father. Ah, your father. Again, eh, saya bagi dia punya keyword, dia punya first clue. Eh. Your mother's brother's only brother-in-law. So, your mother has only one brother who is your uncle. Right? Ada satu je adik-beradik. Ada dua adik-beradik. So, your uncle Katakanlah adik kepada mak you eh. So your uncle. So siapa abang ipa kepada satu-satunya pakcik you? Your father. My mother's husband. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. 
siapa yang gelak je Thailand five 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 tu aku tahu nak maksudnya five tu apa in Thai the let the number five equals to ha okay that's why in Thailand they use five 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 as laughter okay so five in Thailand the pronunciation is ha sounds like ha not mistaken ha okay so uh, that's all for today abi ada ke das Okay, so the answer is your father and then uh, as this is uh, just the beginning of the session, okay, so you have your writing task which is just a short paragraph, eh? short paragraph, maybe 10 to 15 sentences is enough for every question, maybe 10 for every question, which got good, eh? 5 to 10 sentences is enough. Do you prefer the company of your friends or siblings? Why? Okay, awak suka siapa yang bersama-sama awak? Kawan atau adik-beradik? Kenapa? Okay. Do you see members of your extended family often? When and why? Okay. Bila selalu kita jumpa atau awak jumpa extended family? Okay. And then, do you have a good relationship with your grandparents? Okay. So, this is the writing task for you. What I want you to do is to write this in your book. Do you prefer the company of your friends or siblings? Why? Do you see members of your extended family often? When and why? Okay, when you see your extended family? Do you have a good relationship with your grandparents? So these three questions, I want you to write in your uh, essay book. Okay, in your essay book. If you uh, still have your book, from last year, use it, okay? I, I encourage you to use the book that you have last year, okay? Yeah, book dia terpulang lah, but the book for writing, yeah, the book for writing, okay? The book for writing. So, uh, these are the, the work for you. I will paste the same question in the WhatsApp group, okay? And then uh, I will try, I will start inviting you into the Google Classroom as well lah. Okay, so that for those who want to answer in the Google Classroom, you can answer in the Google Classroom. If you want to answer in the book, you can answer in the book. Okay. Okay, so any questions? Oh, thank you, sir, for the candy. Oh, ni bukan candy ni. Ini kerja. Nah, candy nanti manis sangat tak elok untuk kesihatan. Okay, ini ubat sebenarnya. Ubat. Okay, so any questions? Do you have any questions? Long or short book or last year book? Okay, last year book boleh pakai. Okay, buku untuk writing eh. Buku untuk writing. Do you have any question? Any other question? Okay, long book or short book? Guna buku essay last year. What else? If you have new book, you can use it if you want to. Okay. No question eh. Okay. If there's no question, I will stop recording.